where does it say that your followers equals to the amount you are going to charge the person you want to do makeup for? I'm not understanding. Oh, Benny, if you cannot pay the money, say you cannot pay. Oh, which one is one that you now be saying you don't have plenty follower? Is it the follower I'm going to use to do makeup on your face? Hi, people, this is Tammy here. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about why I quit being a makeup artist in Nigeria. If you don't know, now you know. I quit being a makeup artist in Nigeria. I know this might come as a shocking news to many of you because I kind of gave up YouTube full time for being a makeup artist full time. Like sometimes the way my career just always switch over the years, just always funny. So today I'm going to be giving you reasons why I quit being a makeup artist. I mean, there has been struggles here and there, but You'll be thinking, oh, it will end, it will end, it will end. You know, a change will come, something like that, but eventually it doesn't. But nonetheless, I still enjoy being a makeup artist. Don't get me wrong. So the first reason why I had to quit was because I have backlogs of clients that are owing me money. I'm not going to call anybody's name here. And yeah, it comes to a time where I just say, see, if this person has not paid me this money till now upon all the disturbance i've been giving reminders i don't think i'm going to ever collect that money again so it's something that i had to part ways with so firstly people owe me money people will be rude to you people will treat you anyhow i've been to a client's house before and <laughs> immediately i got there they treated me like one what would i call it, like a plumber or uh, electrician remove your slippers here uh, do, let's even say okay there is um you know the whole sanitary the whole sanitary process of cleansing your body and everything no this one was different this one was don't sit here sit sit there you know the whole and i'm like am i not looking she is there something on my body that i'm not seeing i'm not understanding <laughs> so that was another reason why i had to quit being a makeup artist also I found out that you know when you sit down you calculate the whole money you've made being a makeup artist especially this year compare it to when you were not really a makeup artist doing other stuff and i realized that being here creating content here on instagram working for brands actually makes me more money <laughs> one two i don't have to leave my house and it's very very convenient for me to you know sit at home and make money because being a makeup artist you obviously have to leave your house go out so i don't even have a studio again to start it so i cannot even say i'm letting a client in the studio so i gave up my studio so now i'm just on my own i do just home service or i used to do home service so now it's just me myself and i i cannot be traveling to anybody's house and that also reminds me of the risk factor that is connected to this job some people reach out to you to you know they want to be your potential clients i want to do makeup not knowing that they have other you know ulterior motives some may be kidnappers some may be i've had an experience of one who was reaching out to me was really disturbing me he first of all sent me a message that oh he wants to do makeup for his sister his sister is the bride and the bride is getting married tomorrow first of all why will you be the one booking a, a makeup artist for your sister a man a man you are booking a makeup artist for your sister and the wedding is tomorrow i'm not understanding she the girl you know have eyes to look for makeup artists by herself on instagram and then the wedding is tomorrow i didn't mean you were doing it in advance i would have said oh maybe it was her uh, marriage gift or oh, it's like a gift you are giving her it was so fishy and then i wasn't responding because obviously it was fishy so i had to you know ignored this person and he kept on sending messages and because my phone number is on my page he not started calling me sending what i had to block him on whatsapp block him on instagram before that went away i've seen other instances of makeup artists you know getting um, fishy calls or fishy bookings that are very very suspicious and they just had to cancel because they were not sure of the source so i only do um what's it called referrals if you know somebody that knows somebody that knows me tell them that i'm a makeup artist that kind of stuff so it's referrals i've been doing for a very long time and and because of that I'm, I'm not open to a wind i say wind a wide range of um client clientele or clients so that being said that being said i don't really have a lot of customers that can say oh 
I can make so 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 amount this week or that week. There is no stable like a how do I put it like a an income that you can say oh in this month I will make so 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 amount or in that month I'll make so 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 amount. It's not stable and I know it's part of the reason or part of this part of the reason is from me or part of the uh, whatever is from my own side because I don't want to enter kidnapper and another reason why I quit being a makeup artist is because the insult is just too much <laughs> you will tell somebody that this is my price and the next thing you hear is oh you don't even have enough uh, that much followers for you to be charging that much I mean many people don't know you yet so why are you charging that price hello hello I'm not understanding where is the correlation where does it say that your followers equals to the amount you're going to charge the person you want to do makeup for i'm not understanding oh benny if you cannot pay the money say you cannot pay oh is one that you now be saying you don't have plenty follower is it the follower i'm going to use to do makeup on your face help me understand this am i going to use the followers to make up on your face mm? so they'll say eh uh, you, nobody even really knows it like that okay thank you you that you know me that you don't want to do the makeup call, come and be going uh -uh. I, I don't get <laughs> i don't get to so that's another reason why i just had to you know <laughs> this is it ain't for me and hmm, I, I've, I've i kept on saying it instagram is playing me instagram is playing me big time i've been on eight thousand followers since 2019 and people have been following me Hmm? They not even disable my account at one point in time last year. People have been following me and I'm still on that same 8,000. How will you be on it? <sighs> same thing with my um, work page. I've been on 4,000 something something followers since then. And it's like, I don't even know, it's like they put me inside the bottle, but God will open that bottle for me in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not saying that I've not done some shady things to kind of grow my account, but that was back in like 2017, 2018, when we used to do some shady stuff. <laughs> I don't know if you did your own to kind of grow our accounts. And that was a long time ago. I don't know who did not do it. And me, I'm still here. Please, if you know anybody that's looking on Instagram, let me tell them to help me look inside my instagram account please it has to go because this year i want to take or oh, sorry the next year 2022 i want to take um content creation to a whole new level like my own content creation to a whole new level i want to be very serious with it i want to focus on it last year i was able to create a lot i was able to make plenty of videos and again i don't even like the way my youtube channel is you know looking like my views are looking very very you know <laughs> funny and all that stuff i don't like it at all so i'm going to try and improve on that so that being said i have to quit being a makeup artist like quit it in nigeria to you know focus on what i really want to do which is content creation um along the line i must still do makeup for a few people you know some people that always pay me good money but you know being a makeup artist full time i just decided to give it a try this year and honestly it's been good it's been okay but now nah, i can't i'm quitting <laughs> if you wanted to call me to be your makeup artist i'm sorry it's part of the reason why i didn't even go for convocation you know convo makeup to you know do makeup again so from now on it's content creation one-on-one -on -one. if you are here you're watching this video and you like me please be sharing my videos okay because that's the only way my videos can grow can you know gain traction and become what it's meant to become all right so make sure you share this video don't just watch it share give this video a thumbs up make sure you leave comments under the comment section also another reason why i quit being a makeup artist is because um makeup products here in nigeria are becoming more and more expensive and it's not like i can't afford it but for the kind of makeup products i want to buy i buy a lot of high-end products it's not correlating i'm not seeing the correlation to like a plane is passing so there is no correlation between the money i make how i will remove my own gain or my profits how i'll be able to you know sort out money for for products that kind of thing there's no correlation like i can't find the balance by the time i say oh this month 
I made so 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 and so amount. Let me now see how much I can, you know, take out to buy products. There's no correlation. So that's another reason why I had to quit. And again, I always, I always have to take cabs to my location where I'm working because of all my um, equipment. So that again bites into my own profit. Like I, there was a time I used 10k. 5k go 5k come on uber to a location and i'm like what did i just do and if you, i tell you people how much i charge these clients i don't want to say it please <laughs> i can't even say it i told my friend how much i charge this client and how much i spent on transportation she was angry for me hmm? she was livid like there was no way i don't know another reason is because um, you know you have to do like promotional shoots you have to do like some free work obviously there's no way you will not do some professional shoots or I say professional promotional shoots Jerry and then you need um, vendors like hair vendors Asha Oke, Gele, Bridal, CN. I cannot tell you the story or the kidney I've been through you see those ones that are in your level of upcoming that you're thinking oh this person will definitely want to work with me my work is good her work is good we don't we just don't have like huge audience let's try and grow our whatever together mm? they are the meanest i i don't know i contacted a bridal a person that sells bridal whatever for us to do a shoot you know and we've already arranged everything it now became the day of the shoots i said how far when are you coming to the studio like we're waiting for everybody's waiting for you the hair it was a full bridal shoot she said she could not come again because i did not send money for laundry and i did not send money for transportation for the clothes I'm like, is this shoot not going to benefit you? You have 186 followers and you want me to pay for laundry. You want me to pay for transportation. I said, okay, I will launder the clothes. You transport it. Because obviously, when this shoot is done, you will post this thing on your page. And you will get, you know, traction from our own page, the hairstylist page, the photographer's page. I came together, I put everybody together just for you to bring your own clothes. Now, it's not even the fact that she was asking for money that was the problem, but the fact that she could not even come up with an excuse a day before. It was now that day. It was that day. She now, when I asked her, she now started saying that, oh, I didn't pay for laundry. <laughs> People are serious in this Lagos. Other Galeatis, all those other Galeatis, you know, all those other people. If you don't have huge following, nobody's even going to answer you. Don't even waste your time. Don't bother. Just look for someone that is on your own level, that is going to, you know, want to work with you. And that's how the two of you will be able to grow your page together. So another obvious reason why I quit was because once a client books, you send an invoice for the person to know their bill and so on and so forth after you've done the negotiation. Oh my God. After you've done the negotiation, after you've done the negotiation and all that, and they're like, oh, they can't pay before service. And you already know that this type of person, hope you'll not be a problem human being. Because I can't count how much of my money is outside. Come on, with this chicken, keep quiet. Anyway, shout, tomorrow is already Christmas. You'll kill you. Anyways, so um these people they don't want to pay beforehand and even if it's a 70 a minimum of 70 percent deposit they don't still want to pay they want you to come do the makeup and some people you will be on your way there you would have even gotten there they will not even cancel the money i used to enter oh my god the money i used to enter moto to your own destination who is going to cover that one so you see why it don't correlate and again contracts in this side of the <laughs> of the world is kind of funny you know not everybody follows contract like that like that so i realized that my other friends who are like top bigger makeup artists then they send their invoice you will pay because if you don't pay another person is going to take that date another person will pay before me i will see another person that will take that date you go add so you i might just end up doing the makeup and then i'll be chasing this person for my money again i'm like guy why are we like this <laughs> so i'm fit i'm okay there's nothing wrong with my back there's nothing wrong with my neck 
it's nothing wrong with my spinal cord it's just the mental frustration of being a makeup artist and just the financial aspect see if you are very serious and you are financial or you are mentally strong you can be a makeup artist in Nigeria, like you can grow your brand and become really successful and huge. But at the end of the day, it's not money all of us are trying to make. Please, there are other sources of income, there are other ways you can make money. So if you're a makeup artist out there, I'm not discouraging you from stopping or not being a makeup artist. Please keep going, especially if you're hard working and you're almost there. Me, I don't even know if I'm always there or halfway there, but for now, we'll, mm -mm. in Simon, I know do again. Thank you very much. So that brings us to the end of this video. I finished explaining why I ain't a makeup artist anymore. <laughs> so, like I said, if it's your first time here, please make sure you do subscribe. And because I'm going to be taking content creation seriously from now till next year and forever, please try and share my videos. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps with my video. Leave a comment in the comment section also. And that's our christmas chicken thank you so much guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye